Vice President Harris heads to Pittsburgh today, where she will prepare for next week's presidential debate. And former President Donald Trump sat for an hour-long interview with Fox News' Sean Hannity last night. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. People in the city of Winder, Georgia, are mourning after yesterday's deadly high school shooting. Two students and two teachers were killed, and nine people were wounded. A 14-year-old student has been arrested in the shooting. From member station WABE, Royal Bally reports law enforcement had been previously warned about the suspect. The Atlanta office of the FBI says in May of last year, the FBI's National Threat Center received several anonymous tips about online threats to commit a school shooting at an unidentified location and time. The agency says it was able to quickly trace the online post to Georgia and relay the information to the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. Jackson County neighbors Barrow County where Wednesday's shooting happened. The sheriff's office interviewed a boy and his father but found no probable cause to take any additional action. That boy is the same one that is now in custody. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation says the 14-year-old will be charged with murder and treated legally as an adult. For NPR News, I'm Raul Bally in Atlanta. Vice President Kamala Harris is headed to Pittsburgh today. That's where she'll prepare for next week's presidential debate. NPR's Deepa Shivaram reports she'll meet former President Donald Trump in Philadelphia for the event. Harris has five days of debate boot camp before she heads to Philadelphia. It will be one of few highly watched moments that Harris has in her truncated run for the White House, and it comes less than two months before voting ends. Harris is an experienced debater, known for her quick wit on stage. But the last time she took part in a debate was four years ago against then-Vice President Mike Pence. The debate next Tuesday, hosted by ABC News, will be the first time Harris and Trump have ever met. The rules will be similar to Trump's last debate with President Biden in that the microphones for each candidate will be muted when it's not their turn to speak. Deepa Shivaram, NPR News. Former President Donald Trump met with supporters last night in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. The conversation was hosted by Fox's Sean Hannity. Trump criticized Vice President Harris over fracking, a key topic in Pennsylvania. During Harris's first presidential run in 2020, she said she would ban the practice. But in last week's interview on CNN, she reversed her position on fracking. In a town hall on the Fox News Channel, Trump said Pennsylvania voters should not accept Harris's change of mind. You can't take the chance. You have no choice. You've got to vote for me. You've got to vote for me. Even, even if you don't like me, you know. Trump speaks today to the Economic Club of New York. His campaign says he will deliver a major speech on the economy. The National Football League regular season kicks off tonight. Defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, will host the Baltimore Ravens in season opener. NPR's Becky Sullivan reports. In nearly six decades of Super Bowl history, never has a team won three times in a row. Not even dynasties like the Steelers of the 1970s, nor the Tom Brady Patriots. None of them could do what Patrick Mahomes and the rest of the Chiefs hope to achieve this year. But they will have plenty of challengers, including the ascendant Houston Texans, who have loaded up around their second-year quarterback C.J. Stroud, or maybe the long-suffering Detroit Lions, who fell just short of their first-ever Super Bowl appearance last season. On Sunday, a handful of intriguing rookie quarterbacks will also make their debuts, including Caleb Williams, the electric Heisman winner from USC, who was drafted first overall by the Chicago Bears. Becky Sullivan, NPR News. You're listening to NPR.